What's up everybody? I'm Gabe with GabeStackhouse.com and in this video I'm going to tell you what a DAW is and what a digital audio workstation is used for. Now a DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation. And what a digital audio workstation is, it's a piece of musical software that allows you to record or create and produce music. Now you might ask, well, why do I need a digital audio workstation? Well, if you want to produce music on a high quality, it's going to be necessary that you acquire some kind of DAW. Uh, what the DAW is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to record either your audio performances, your MIDI productions, or any kind of your musical arrangements, and leave you open for editing in a multi-track scenario. All right, now I want to tell you a couple things that you want to consider before you purchase a DAW um, because there are quite a few ways to acquire a DAW free. And quite frankly, I believe that most people probably get their first DAW software when they purchase either a audio interface or some other musical equipment. You want to look, what you want to look for before you purchase any DAW software is that it has the capacity to do what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Hey, A, am I trying to just record vocals and maybe a band? Or B, am I trying to actually produce MIDI or make beats? Speaking about a DAW, I want to give you a little bit of terminology. And the first term that I want to introduce you to is a sequencer. Now, you might be wondering, well, what is a sequencer? Well, a sequencer is very important engine within the DAW software. And what it does is it allows you to record your performances and puts it all on a time grid within the DAW software. So it allows you to set a tempo within the software platform and control that timing via the sequencer. The other thing that I want to tell you about is what's called a transport. Now the transport is almost like the what you see on a, you know your play bar. It has the, the stop, the play, and the record function. So that is considered a transport. Now, if you're, I've said a few things about MIDI already in this video, and if you're not aware of what it is, I'll put a definition in the description of the video, and like there will be a link in the description as well to a blog that I wrote and a video that I made describing what MIDI is. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. The good thing about MIDI is, let's say that I have a musical track that I recorded on a through a controller. Um, and if you don't know what a controller is, uh, you can I'll also put a definition in the description. But a controller is basically the piece of software that are the, the actual instrument or a keyboard that allows you to play the music and the, 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 the sample engines within the, the digital audio workstation. I know it's really easy to get caught up in a lot of the hype about what's the best DAW software. Oh, hey, I want to do Pro Tools. I want to do whatever brand. Um, I'm here to tell you that if you're just starting off making music, it's not that critical as long as you have the ability to do what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Remember that creative workflow is far more important right now to keep you going than, your, than having the best sonic quality on the block. Now don't get me wrong, everything that you can get in your favor within your craft is going to help you and benefit you for sure. So you do want to try to accomplish the highest end quality that you can and I'm a firm believer in that. You want to get as much of a head start than, as you can within your presentation and having your music sonically on point, well mixed, well recorded, um, using good professional equipment is, is going to be imperative. So, if you do decide to build a recording studio, uh, remember that you are going to have to acquire some level of a digital audio workstation if you want to be taken serious. Now there's a lot of brands out there, don't get too caught up in the hype. At the end of the day, most of the software, they record the same quality. So I heard people say, well, well I heard that this digital audio workstation sounds better than X brand digital audio workstation. That's foolish. Um, it's the digital signal, once it's converted from your audio interface, it's digital and it's in it. So your audio interface is going to determine 
your sound quality via the uh, converters within the audio interface hardware. So the quality is not going to be determined by your DAW, but your hardware and your audio interface. All right, guys, thank you for listening to this video on what a DAW is. Remember, you can go to GabeStackhouse.com and you can find a whole host of information. Um, it's, I'm creating an online resource with tools and, and, and information that's just going to contribute to your creativity on helping you record and produce music. Alright guys, have a good one.